Hello everybody, my name is Dude, and welcome to Degrees of Separation. This is a story-heavy puzzle platformer. Uh, it's mostly co-op in nature, but I don't have another, uh, player with me, so we're gonna have to play the single player and hope that, uh, it's easy to work, because I have not- This is the new game that's coming out in and February. To a distant roar, like a great oh good, there's subtitles. Her dreams, usually warm and bright had taken on the chill of ice and azure. Oh. Move button. Oh. I'm moving? Okay. So is ice and azure a bad thing? Oh. What about my- what about- I want to wear the other scarf. It looks prettier. Oh well. So is it just always summer with me, or something? Oh. Oh, we don't get a little narrator here, at this moment? He dreamed of a great wind, a roaring in the air like some great beast, and the faint smell of sulfur jolting him awake. Oh boy. His dreams were restless, filled with dancing fires and a bright, almost blinding light. So this is the story of a, a small town girl living in a lonely world. He was Taking the this midday train going place. anywhere. The lone defender of the castle in the heart of this kingdom of ice. Is this South De Detroit? I don't think Detroit is that cold. Um. How do I. Oh, oh here we go. Rhyme lowered the drawbridge of his castle. As to what it guarded against, he realized he had no idea. Probably the midnight train going anywhere. As she emerged from the great oak that was her home, she noticed the once great trees of the forest were shattered, broken. Oh boy, it was that's as not a good. Great storm had blown through, splintering all in its path. The roar that had awoken her. She ventured on. Her curiosity growing as she climbed through the tree hollows. Well, uh, hopefully this isn't a victim of deforestation. Because, uh, that would suck. Oh. Do I not get to go underneath? I don't get to go underneath. I thought I'd have to go underneath. Ah, tree, no! There was a growing chill in the air. And the branches stirred in the wind. Ah. The storm may have passed, but she knew another was on the way. Another storm or another person? Probably another storm. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's not a thing I can interact with. I thought it was loot. But there's no loot in this- Ah, tree! There's no loot in this game so far. It's puzzle platformer with story. The permafrost That's it. was melting. Rhyme felt a gust of warm wind, and wondered if it had brought the wisp beside him. Is that what the wisp is? It's a butterfly. Am I getting a persona? Probably not. The Butterflies don't necessarily mean persona so much as it means, uh, oh. I'm missing something. But Rhyme could still use the cold to his advantage. I can make a snowball out of a log. I can make a snowball out of a log. He ventured on to the edge of his kingdom. There, he hoped to find answers. Or at least a girl who's literally hot. The great fire that gave life to her land was dying. Oh. Fishers had cracked open tunnels in the cliffs, and great jets of sulfur erupted from the ground. Yet she knew she could use these to her advantage. Is she, uh... Able to breathe sulfur? I'm guessing so, because uh, she's not she hoped being to killed. From where the strange winds blew. It's probably from this guy over here, who's he also... He still had time. time for what? Time for what? Teletubbies? I hope not. Shit. Why do you mean I can't make the jump? I can't- I can't go! 
I can't do. I can't go. Game. I think something's fucking up. Oh, there we go. Never mind. I made it. Okay. Something was fucking up. I don't like what. He passed the gates of his kingdom and found new tunnels revealed by the melting of the ice. Nice. It's gorgeous. The glistening water of the cave ran down the walls like tears, as if weeping at the melting of his world. Oh. But how can things live in just the cold? Or just the heat? You need all of it. Or is this an environmental lesson? Not that I'm complaining about an environmental lesson. Ooh. Ooh. Press the button to switch character. Oh, okay. Oh! Both stepped on the bridge together, matching each other's steps. Oh! Hello! I can only swap. Oh boy! Oh boy! Are we not allowed to touch? Ember met Rhyme. And, uh, our trees are holding us together. Really? We can't... we can't... Oh! A shimmering barrier separated them. Oh, I hold this down to move them both. Okay. Each carried their world with them. Oh, why'd the barrier gotta split? How are they gonna... How are they gonna make the... How are they gonna do the thing? If they can't, uh, you know... Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, don't die on me. Okay, at least you're not, like, dying and stuff. Okay, so I gotta make her swim a little bit. Oh, I just gotta press a button. Okay. Neither knew what world they had come to. Yet, clearly, someone had been here long ago. Someone? It's probably because of the deforestation. This seems like it's gonna be a lonely romance story. Not that I'm complaining about it, but like... As they rode across the sky, the two caught sight of a great castle in the distance. Ooh, Ooh. Over, there's a dragon! A dark shape soared into the air and was gone. There's a dragon. Perhaps there at the castle. They would find answers to what threatened their worlds. Probably. One way to find out, I guess. Void by Ember's warmth, they rose and ascended when Rhyme's chill fell upon them. All right. So I've got to make it descend. So let's do this. And then we'll swap out again. Eh. And then we gooch. Okay. Of who had made these tunnels? There was no sign. Eh. There we go. And there we go. Only by working together were they able to move forward. We can do that. Alright, uh... How am I making this happen? I gotta have them hold down one thing. Okay. And then... boop. Alright. There we go. Come on. The of great mechanisms, wheels, and pulleys lay along the path. Hmm. So what if I... Do this... And then... Uh, 
how do I do this? I guess I could just make him do that, and then, uh... Have her go underneath. Oh wait, no, that's not a thing I need to, him to do. I need her to hold onto this rope. I need him to go here. And hold onto this rope. And then, uh, I don't know what that one did, but we gooch. Probably. Yeah, we gooch. Alright, let's go. More structures lay ahead, forgotten in the overgrowth. Yet the road had been built with purpose in mind. Had it. Oh shit, I did need to... Go around her. Uh, there we go. And then snowball. Oh boy. Nah. Uh, big ass snowball time. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I go up a bit, she goes up a bit, she can make that jump, and then I can make that jump, and then we gooch. They came upon a mine and saw what the mechanisms were for. Oh. The walls glittered, flecks in the rock, shining like stars. It reminded them of the barrier between them, and wondered if there was a connection. Oh shit. Great power lay in the veins of rock, and someone had sought to claim it. And here, they had failed. Had they? How'd they? How'd they fail? Ah, no, 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 no. Okay, so we're good here. And then we go here, and then we climb up. We gooch, we gooch. No matter whether touched by cold or warmth, they noticed the ore held its color. Hmm. Damn it! No, I need this. Go here, huh? And then I need you to do that, and then we're gooch. And I need you over here, and then we go down. Then we swap. Ah, ah, crap. She gonna drown? I think she's gonna drown a little bit. Ah, oh, shit. What's lowering? I don't get what's lowering exactly, and I don't like the fact that I'm underwater with her. she fly or something? Something tells me I fucked up. I may have fucked up. How am I supposed to get over there, though? Because, like... Yes, it lowers a rock, whoop de doo Oh. That's how. Uh, don't mind me, just not gonna stare up your skirt. And then we go this way. And then we do this. Aha! I figured it out. I figured out the puzzle. Finally they emerged from the mine, and across the bridge ahead of them lay the great castle they had seen from the gondola. Okay. Just right here? Did we go through all of that just to like quickly get over here? Side by side, but with a chasm between them. Ember and Rhyme came to the castle gate and opened it together. Oh, we have to both go. Okay. How do I. Oh, it's B. Alright. This is long for what I assumed to be a demo. The castle, majestic from a distance, had fallen into ruin, its halls empty. Oh boy. Of the ruler, there was no sign. Ash blackened the stones from a fire long ago. A great
great door. Inscribed on its surface, a golden sheaf of wheat. A golden what awaits? Perhaps this world would hold the secret they sought and remove the barrier between them. Hmm. As the scarf Mayhaps. was taken, the door became brighter. Whoever had once held these scarves, the doors had opened for them. Compa oh, shit. Compared to the sunlit world they had left, the castle seemed even darker and emptier than before. Let's have him lead, because then that means the world's becoming brighter and less Her cold when she's behind, so... Fields of promise stretching as far oh, as shit. I could see. Oh, shit. But the fields lay untended. The farmer's gone. So if we both do this... Does that mean we gotta both weigh it down, or what? I guess this is just symbolic or some shit, because there's no point in having it. Okay, puzzle time. Alright, so I choose this way. Ooh, what's this? A scarf. Uh, uh. How do I get this one? Aha! Sulfur thingy, right. Okay, so... Huzzah! There we go, this way. I can't make him grab it. So I gotta make... Her. I gotta make him go around, hang on. Oh shit. How do I make this work? I can't make it work. There's no rope thingy. Unless... Aha! Aha! Did not notice that. So when I do that, I make... I make her let go. Make him grab the thing. The faded black scarf seemed a hint of royalty. And if it was like the first, it might open doors ahead. Yeah, it might. Sulfur split the ground here. Fishers in the rock. Uh huh. How do I make him go in, though? What? Lady, I think you're holding on to something that doesn't exist. Oh, I see. I see. Sort of. Not really. Yeah, I got it. Okay, good. And then we go around. Now we go around town. The fissures seem to be recent, angry, but hmm. Ryan was able to calm it for a time. And I uh, see how I can make this happen. If I can make him calm, then I need to do this. Then I need to go back around. Whoa. Wow, wow, hab, hab, You get over here. And then we're good, and then I gotta go over here. Working together, Ember and there we go. up and over as Rhyme froze the steam from the vents so she could pass. They worked well together. Well, yeah, we have powers that are complete polar opposites, and we're using them to uh, our advantage. Was all around them. Ooh, wait. Wait a minute. Can I go down? There's a down! There's a down! The sulfur vents ran hotter and fiercer beneath the surface. Ooh, did they? Okay, so what if I... First of all, go around. Second... Ooh. Can I make him come with... So I can calm them completely if I just like bring Mr. C Mr. Freeze Miser. He felt elated and for the first time in a long time happy. Eh. 
What does this mean? It's linking me to something. I don't know what, though. Ugh, I can't get up. How do I get up? I feel like I'm supposed to be able to jump this. And I can't... Oh, there we go. Um... Shit. Alright, so if we do... That. Ember, for her part, was amazed at how Rhyme's presence quelled the vents so she could pass. Okay, good. And she was grateful. I just got... Ah! Uh, I need to, like, get just one vent. There we go. And now we's gooch. Now I gotta figure out that other one. Cause I don't think I'm gonna figure that one out on my own just yet. Eh, stop it. If I do that... Make the vents rise a little bit. I gotta make the vents rise. How the fuck am I doing that? Is that a down vent or an up vent? That's a down vent. Okay, so what I need to do is find a way to get him to jump up. And then go up the thingy, but the only way I can think of- oh. Oh, I've got an idea! There we go! That's the ticket. That's what I was supposed to do. Okay, so we go this way, we do the thing, climb down. There's still one other thing. It's telling me something here, and I don't know what it's telling me. The intricacy of the mining platforms was awe-inspiring. Someone hmm. had obsessed over their construction. Every moving part. Every moving part. Okay, so come over here. And then we both go this way. And, uh, now we got a slight problem, because, uh, I need to go under. And then, this way. Okay. Eh. Is that how that worked? What? There we go. We a game, each seeing the machinery as traps left by some jealous king hoarding his scarves, but not knowing the truth of it. So, can I move on now? I guess so. Interesting puzzle game. I don't think I've seen one like this where, like, you have to... use different elements in a, in a similar fashion like this. Eh. Oh, was that a sulfur thing? I need some kind of... The strange machines curled in and about themselves, in ways that reminded them of the castle's twisting hallways. Hmm. Same architect, perhaps. Mayhaps. Mayhaps, indeed. Okay, so I didn't need that one after all, but I do need to go around here. Oh! So you need to be on the thing. You need to push the log. Hey. 
Maybe melt it slightly too. Ugh. Eh. Okay. And then you go up here. And you go back around. Oh shit. Oh shit. It's going up. It's going up. Yeah, we've got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Except I can't get up it anymore. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, I think it's too hot. I think it's too hot to handle now. Uh, lady, stop being on, like, the edge of the camera. There we go. Okay, it needs to melt just slightly. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of melting is all it needed, and I can't even manage that much. Okay, there we go. Rhyme's spirit rose as he harnessed the cold to reach new heights. Ember, seeing his face, echoed his smile. Ah, oh, that's cute. A great cliff rose up before them. It looked as if they could climb the exterior. Hmm. Perhaps they could use it to scout the horizon. Maybe. Maybe. Or we could go around and try to find more scarves. Which I think there's an ending if you grab all the different scarves. Uh, this is a long episode. Let's go up here. And rhyme do that. Um, is that what I gotta do? Oh, I've got to launch him over. Shit. Okay, I see. I see. Ah, stop it. No! Damn it. Ah, I've got to redo this whole thing. Shit, how am I going to make... That work in such a way. I've got to maneuver around the lights. Okay. I've got to maneuver around the light, correct? So I gotta go this way? No, I don't. Uh, how do I do this? Maybe I don't have to be down below. Ah, shit! Shit! Come on, game! Okay, you go up with me. And then... I go... up alone. And then what? I go this way? Shit. And then I do this, and there we go, we gooch. Eh. There we go. Oh, <clears throat> sorry. Now we go this way. I'm gonna get over here. Ah, oh, there's so many scarves, dude. So many scarves. So many. Wait. Can I totally cheat this? Or is it even technically cheating when I do this?
I guess that's not gonna help me. Um what if I have him hold on to- Aha! That's not what I was thinking, but I like it. It's really not what I was thinking, because I was thinking... I would need to be able to... Eh, do something else with that. Eh. It's split a little better, please. I don't think it's going to split us any better. Okay, so there we go. I need to go back around. And light it up. Right? No, he needs to be on top, so... Shit. How am I doing this puzzle? How am I supposed to do it? This is a weird puzzle mechanic. Can I save... the game? I don't think there's a save point. Okay, so what do I need? I need him to be... I need him to be on this side. I need her to be on this side. And then I need to light up the torch thing. Okay, and there we go. Got it. Now we can go. Now we can go. Here we go now. Okay, we can go now. Ah, wow. Wow, this is hard. Okay, how about the next one? The excavation seemed particularly hmm. deep here, as if this was one of the first places the mining had occurred. Um, I'm missing something here. Am I supposed to roll it up a little more? Yes. Yes, I am. Okay. And then I've got to get this thing right in there again. Shit. I don't understand this. So maybe I'm supposed to push it back in or something. Maybe... Nah, he needs to be there. Um... Let me throw! Damn you. Okay, so I go back up with this. I do something here, I don't know what. I need the log back over here. At the same time, I can't push it any further. I can't bring the log over! Ugh! This is some broken-ass bullshit right here! Yeah, this is broken. I don't know how to do this. There's no way to keep it in place. As far as I know, there's no way to do that. I can't pull things. I can't jump any higher. Unless there's another log somewhere. Uh, I don't understand. I don't understand what this game is trying to tell me here. I don't get it! I don't get it at all!
Maybe I'm supposed to, like, have her melt it a little once I get over? I don't know. Solution has something to do with this here. The whole geyser thing. I don't understand what, though. You know what? I'm going to have to end the episode here because I'm clueless. I am clueless. But, uh, anyway. Uh, this was given to me by the developer, so thank you, Modus Games, for that. Uh, I'll put a link in the description where you can pre-order it or buy it whenever it goes live. Uh, it's on Steam, Switch, uh, PS4, and Xbox, I believe? And there's some co-op elements to it. There's a co-op element to it where you don't have to switch between characters. Uh, I'm just doing that because I'm a loner and stuff. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And thank you to Shro and Leviel for supporting me on Patreon. And thank you to Whirlybird and Zarita Burrito for supporting me on Twitch. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!